Thanks for stopping by. In today's episode, we are going to continue to stuff a stuffy. Um, this one is the uh, a non-licensed character Pikachu. And funny enough, or not funny, if you know me, Paws and Pearls, hello, how are you? Welcome, if you're new here. Um, I'm a little bit of a spaz, a little bit of a klutz, um, a lot of it actually. <laughs> Let's not sugarcoat it. And so before we begin, to give you a little bit of history here, I had intended to, if you watched my last episode with this guy here, I ran out of stuffing and I wanted to go in person to Joanne Fabrics to get some more. However, my state has extended our shelter in place. Uh, they have lifted some of the restrictions, but I don't want to risk it to go in person. But I desperately needed some more stuffing because one, I needed it because I am going to be making some little mini cats that you've seen in another video of mine. Um, I'll link it up here. I kind of don't like doing that because that means I have to stop the video at the right point to put the card in. But up here is the the video of the last time I was working with some stuffing. And since I had run out of that, I was like, oh, I'm going to make more of these cats. I need to stuff this Pikachu. So I need some more stuffing. And I was looking online. Sorry, my eye is watering. It always waters. Uh, allergy season. And so I went online and I'm like, okay, well, I can't go in person, but I do need this now. It's sooner than I thought I could wait. And it turns out I don't know my measurements because the different sizes was like eight ounces of stuffing. And I'm like, well, I know how much eight ounces is. And I'm thinking of like size wise, like an eight ounce cup. Like that's not that much stuffing at all. I, I need a lot more than that. So I it's like looking at the next size up, different qualities. I'm like, okay, here's some standard polyfill and it's 32 ounces. And I'm like, that should be, you know, just enough to get me through the couple projects I have and some leftover for the little cat projects I have. This is what 32 ounces of polyfill looks like. And I'm done. It's two pounds. I should have looked you know, I'm thinking size wise, weight wise, like that's not that much. I mean, two pounds isn't heavy, 30, 32 ounces isn't that much. But when you think of how much you need to make that weight of a very, very light um, uh, material, it's like, of course, it's gonna be a lot because you know, that thing is light. So here we are, I have way more than I need now. But I think that's a good thing because if I end up Next time, by the time I get to the point where I would use this for the next project, I hope that um, things will be open again and I can go in person to make sure I know exactly what I'm getting, which is why I did really want to go in person in the first place, uh, is that I can work on those throw pillows I wanted to do. Uh, if you saw me looking through some pattern books that I have in the last episode, there was a really cute... Um, it wasn't in the last episode. It was in the one where I was looking at the cute and cozy knits. Um, they're like pillow covers, throw pillow covers. And I have a lot of pillows around me and more so. And I would like to add to my collection of throw pillows. Maybe have some for my actual couch downstairs and not this one in my second room. And just, you know, do some more homework crafts for myself. And I was like, throw pillows are on my list of things to do. I have enough polyfill here to easily make at least a baby throw, uh, but you know, I could always add to that later because I do want to use a bit of it to finish this guy. I have a giant Hello Kitty, which you'll see later on, and then the leftovers will be used to stuff the little kitty cats that I'm making for some of my colleagues. So we'll get right into this guy. I honestly don't have much left. He's, he's a relatively flat shaped. Um, character, but I do want to kind of like puff him up just a bit more, give him a little bit more firmness, and then we'll finish out with his feet and stuff down here. So I'll go ahead and push 
a lot of this stuffing down so I can do the rest of his limbs. And my, my, uh, my neighbors are outside, so hopefully that means there won't be a lot of dog barking for the next hour or so. I don't know how long they plan on being out there. Uh, but I have neighbor dogs all over the place. So, and to keep my volume adjusted, I've kind of amped up the speaker volume. So you kind of hear a lot more than normal when it's high. And I also noticed that because it's picking up the sound faster than the camera, um, you see my mouth moving a little bit out of sync and it looks like an old dub movie sometimes. And, and that's why, because the decibel is like on 10 and zero is normal for like this distance from the camera. So you're about, you guys are about like four feet away from me or so. So I hope uh, your Saturday is going well. By the time you see this, it's going to be later in the week, but I hope you had a good weekend. Um, I woke up because, well, considering it's something o'clock, what time is it actually? It is ah, 4.10. 4.10 in the evening. And I got up really early because I fell asleep on the couch and my partner came downstairs to start their day and of course they turned on the light, they opened the blinds, they're shuffling around and woke me up. So I was like, hmm, okay. I, I fell asleep relatively early last night for me. So I think I just, my body was like, hmm, we got enough sleep now. A little groggy, but you know, a little bit of coffee, um, kind of got me going and I was knitting most of the day actually. I, my goal was to actually finish my 20th row of the lightest color of my baby blanket that I'm working on, but my cats kept getting on my lap and wanting to cuddle and I can't knit with them on my lap. So set the knitting aside and then I go back to knit and kind of like this um, Pikachu right now, it's covered in cat form for my lightest color is covered in cat fur. So I was like, well, this is not going to be very productive at all. So I put that aside and finally I was like, all right, I think it's time to film. Like, uh, I can't really knit because my cats keep wanting to jump on my lap. And the more they jump on my lap, the more fur I have on me. And I don't want to keep going to get the lint roller and get more uh, or remove the fur just to knit again. So I was like, what? I'll just do it all later. Um, so here we are. Uh, Friday, Friday was my last day of work for a little bit. I have uh, this week off and I plan to do a lot of filming because we have some things coming up that I want to film and I should strike while the iron's hot when I have just all the time in the world well, sort of, no interruptions work-related that will disrupt what I have planned. So I'm looking forward to this week when you see this video because I'll be filming for the week after. And, and the week after that. I'm hoping to get like two weeks worth of content done this week while I'm off so that uh, I just have stuff ready to go and We'll see how it how it goes because really it's not so much that the filming takes a long time like filming is easy peasy but the things that go along with filming like making sure my battery is fully charged switching them out waiting for them to charge uh, uploading the videos editing them editing usually if I'm lucky and I can get everything done in one like 30 minute interval before the camera chops so I don't have to do a lot of splicing then it's pretty easy going, but I do have to wait for it to finish converting before I can upload it to YouTube. And then once I upload it, uh, it really lags the bandwidth of my internet connection. And since I do share the internet with my partner, I have to wait until they're not doing anything so that I don't hog it all for my uploading. Otherwise, it makes it hard for them to do stuff and then they get upset. So I have to wait 
until like the very, very, very early morning hours when they finally gone to bed so I can get everything uploaded as much as I can. So now my Pikachu has a little bit more of a tummy. His foot is nice and firm, but I do want this um, this joint to be more firm. So I'm going to keep putting some stuffing there. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I hear noises. You guys probably hear them too. So yeah, so this week is just going to be me churning out some content, uploading, or not uploading, but getting my my video scheduled to upload at their scheduled time that I have set, and, and just working on that stuff. Also, not quite the same topic, but yesterday, Friday, when, before today, after work, I um, jumped on Google Hangouts with a friend of mine, well two friends actually, the friend that I had my coffee break with a few weeks ago and my friend who I made the swoop beanie for as well as that scarf with that horrible yarn that I hate so much. <laughs> and uh, I found out that my friend that I made the swoop beanie for, she and her former boyfriend, now uh, fiance, got engaged over the holiday. Um, so December when they they went to a cabin and they they think that's like their tradition now to go to this cabin um, in a different state and just spend a few days out there together away from family and just just the two of them no like barely any internet I think and you know just wilderness they like the outdoors and so um, her boyfriend proposed to her and it's so funny because we were talking about you know, our holidays and stuff, because we're like, yeah, you know, you want to hang out, like, after New Year's or something, and she was busy, because she's going back to school, and she's like, well, you know, I'm trying to get my schedule together and stuff, and she mentioned, you know, going to the cabin and having a peaceful holiday, but she didn't say anything about coming back as an engaged woman, and I'm like, on our hangout, I'm like, hey, you totally left that part out, so we are joking, I'm like, yeah, that's a big part of your your trip that you didn't tell me about, so what's up with that? But no, I'm super happy for her, which means I have all of these possible projects to knit for them as like their wedding gifts, and I'm so excited because they're not going to get married until 2021, and even that is still kind of like, I mean, they're going to, that's when they are going to get married, but they haven't um, set their actual wedding date yet, at least I don't think so. We didn't get on that topic, but I know they're still looking for rings and, you know, all that stuff. So they were getting ready to go look in person at the rings they're going to design together, but with the the shelter-in-place order and everything, they had to postpone that. Because I was looking at her hand because she was just like, uh, left hand, yeah, she was just like this or something at one point. I'm like, I don't see a ring, but then she later explained why she doesn't have one yet. And I was like, okay. Uh, so it was kind of funny. Um, so I'm really excited for her. Uh, her fiance, I keep wanting to call him boyfriend, her fiance is really awesome. Like, I love hanging out with them, even though I haven't in a long time because of me living really far away, not having a car, her schedule, my schedule. Um, the last time I saw her in person was, oh, springish. No, not even spring, because it's spring right now. Like, last year sometime, it was like, it was before the holidays. I, I can't even remember, but we went out to dinner, and it was really nice, and, um, she got me my late birthday gift. So it might have been like November-ish, I want to say, because that's when I got my middens that I hadn't been able to use yet. And then, of course, as soon as like we stopped hanging out, it got cold and I needed my mittens and um, the little note cards for my launch and the recipe note cards. But yeah, she's really awesome. So I'm super excited. She's super like 
bohemian and like really eclectic. She's like, she is like my hipster friend. So I'm excited to see what she does for her wedding. And her fiance is an artist and I, I'm excited to see if he's gonna like do some cool like scene or something like decorate it and stuff because he, he works um, in movies actually and really cool but I'm excited for them I'm happy for them Whoa. but yeah that just kind of like sparked my mind of like all these cool things to make and it's so funny because I was um, in my in my book where did oh this book that I still have not read that much maybe I'll do that this week read some more of the yarn harlot uh, the secret life of a knitter uh, there's a story in here like very early on where she and a new knitter friend decided to make his and hers sweaters for a friend of theirs that was getting married and it was a disaster but instead of doing something scary like his and her sweaters because it was easy enough for them both to do one sweater each put them together as a group gift. Uh, she also mentioned trying to knit an afghan for um, either her brother or somebody else who was getting married. She was going to give them that as a gift. She ended up giving them a punch bowl because she could not finish this afghan. I'm like, his and her socks? That sounds a little easier. And then, of course, his and her socks and, you know, some uh, dish towels some washcloths and things. I mean, they already have their place. They already live together and stuff. But just to be like, here is your wedding thing. Like, I don't think they're going to do like a registry like that because they have been living together for like three, three or four years now. So they pretty much like have all of their life together at this point. But if they add anything else, they know that I love to make them stuff, so I don't think it'll be anything weird for me to show up with something handmade. Um, and knock on um, invisible wood, I have like a year at least until I need to start thinking about what to do for them. Um, but it's good to keep it on my radar now, especially as I decide to like build my yarn stash for that project. If I'm looking at patterns now, I can kind of get an idea of what I might want to do for them. And if I have it already ready to go, uh, that'll save me some time as well. But uh, I do still want to make sure I'm on track with this year's stuff, which is finishing that baby blanket. I found a really cute elephant to buy for the baby. And I'll knit her the elephant like a little bow in the same color or one of the colors from the blankets as like an accent color for the bow and once my partner can get in person with their friend they can drop it off to them and what else do I have oh um, I'm gonna do socks for my brother and his fiance for their birthday gift that is pretty much here but there's one more piece that is on back order that I'm waiting for and it won't be ready till July so I'm not even sure if I want to wait but I'm like oh it's so awesome it's this clear puzzle it's a clear puzzle <laughs> like literally a piece of like acrylic that's been cut into puzzle pieces so it's hard because you can't see you know, there's not an image to use as a reference. You just have to go by shape. And they love puzzles. So it's like, ha. But it would be so awesome if it wasn't on back order because now is the perfect time to have a puzzle to work on. And um, I'm pretty sure that might be why it's on back order. <laughs> Everybody's ordered this puzzle to work on. All right, so we have ugh, a nice, mm, nah, I think I probably need to make his ears pokier, huh? That'll probably be the next step, but we're pretty much done with this guy. Um, 
So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!